Hi, Malban, Pytrax, Dead Metal. I think I haven't done a video in two, three weeks. Um, well, I didn't have so much time in the first week of those two weeks and in the last two weeks I think I mainly occupied myself with Elite and New Kind and uh, I'm finished for now. <laughs> I just can't look a Pytrex in the eye right now. Um, I will again pause a little bit I think. Uh, I borrowed a PS4 from my nephew and I'm going to play for the first time um, what was it called? A game. <laughs> and um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to program anything for the next, I guess, two weeks or something like that. But anyway, uh, PyTrax. Uh, just wanted to show you what I did in the last couple of days. So, uh, what you already saw, uh, I showed you in the last video, is a AAE emulator. I uh, kept a little bit um, going on with the AAE. Mainly what I did is implement uh, the general input support for the complete AAE. The AAE has a, a, a file called input.c and within this input.c uh, nearly all input parameters for the emulators are kept. Some emulators have uh, I don't know why uh, uh, additional input support within their own drivers, but mainly these are uh, the uh, um, nearly all emulators are, uh, uh, are done with the uh, um, global support. Um, so nearly all emulators now are playable without sound. I haven't looked at that yet, and uh, well, as I said, I'm not going to for, for the next time. Um, in general, player one is joystick one, player two is joystick two. Buttons of player one are buttons of joystick one and so on. Um, insert coin is button three and four. And insert two coins is button three and four on the second joystick. Uh, start one is button one and two for the first joystick. And start two is button one and two for the second joystick. So there, you can play it. Um, uh, the, the mappings are exactly as they were in... Uh, in AAE, so uh, they are not compatible with the old mappings of the other emulators. So this is everything I just kept for now. As you see, that one is running, but that's not really such great thing. Let's look at some emulation we haven't seen before, like I don't know. Sector. I haven't had I play, ever played that Sector. I, I don't know. Uh, some of these games have larger ROMs than normal, uh, so the loading takes up quite a little bit. Credits 1, 2, start a one player game. Well, here it would be nice if I had done the uh, speech uh, output, but well, well, I haven't yet. Yeah, uh, as you can see, which button is which? There, fire. Button 1. Uh, in opposite to, to most other Vectrex games is here fire, not uh, button 4, but this is the default configuration, well, as I said, for the uh, AAE emulator, and since I didn't change the default emulation, button 1 is nearly always the fire button. Okay, as you can see, Zector is working. Uh, many other games are working, but I'm going to show you, I think, something which we have not seen yet, and that is Quantum. Quite, uh, I, I think we've seen the, the, the demo of it uh, uh, last time, but you can actually play it. Um, it's, I don't think it's really too, too slow. Credits, player one. Uh, this one seems slow. I've never played in the arcade, but uh, you have to circle the level you want to play, and this seems really slow. But the, the game itself, I think, looks normal. I'm playing with joystick now. Uh, last time I said I, I was going to <laughs> configure <laughs> mouse support, but I haven't done that yet. Um, hmm. This one eludes me now. Yes, uh, well, uh, that is Quantum. For those of you who have played in the arcade will recognize it. I have not played it in the arcade. I did not recognize it, but it seems 
playable and I catch these what the are these molecules I think yeah yes okay this is working and as I said before most of the other games are also working uh, also this cinematronic stuff we have not seen in, in the other uh, emulator really working well uh, should I think work now so here see uh, button one button one is fire <laughs> this is warrior uh, I've never played it but uh, I know with, with the other emulator this did not work and this seems to be working I, I think I have a shield somewhere and don't I uh, uh, yeah but not fire is not the shield Yeah, okay, yes, yeah, as you can see, it's working. Um, okay, this was one thing, but as said before, the main thing I occupied myself with, uh, with was Elite. Uh, a new kind, programmed by Christian Pinder. Pinder? Pinder? It's, I, I think he's German, it's Pinder probably. Uh, well, the original is certainly by David Braben and I'm Bell. Uh, everybody knows that. Um, so, yeah, we can start it. It starts off... I, I have not found all the correct music, but, uh, well, this is at least something. It's a little bit darker than I would like. Uh, okay, like this. So, yes, this is Elite. Elite uh, can be played completely can only be played if you um, put in a, a keyboard into your Pytrax. The, the steering uh, of the ship you can do with the joystick, but uh, there are, I don't know, 20 keyboard commands or something like that. So, um, other than Thomas, who also supports it on the VEC Fever, I have not invented a new scheme to access all these different menus. I just thought, hey, keyboard, I've got a keyboard, so let's use a keyboard. Uh, so the um, so access to the game is exactly the same as the one under Windows. Uh, the function keys F1 to F11 are uh, all the different screens. So F1 is front, F2 is rear, then left, right view. Uh, then there's uh, oh, I, I will show you later. Anyway, as you can see, you can load commanders, you can save commanders, you can save the game, you can load the game, you can enter the name uh, uh, of your commander. By the way, if you enter Malban, I have a save file with uh, gigantic stats on it. So if you just want to explore, I think I've got a million credits or something like that. This, this was cheated just so I can uh, try things out. Um, but uh, if you just want to try things out too, you can use that. Otherwise, you can start a new game like this. And then this is your commander, Jameson. This is the default name. If you press function key 11 you can change the name you've got a menu here change name this is not Jameson this will be Chris so and if you now save the game then it will be saved under the name Chris and if you in the title screen load the game again then yeah there's another uh, option to enter the name and you can then load Chris uh, perhaps I should put that in the ini file. This uh, Elite does not have an ini file yet, uh, it, as it's beta. Uh, if you can put that in the ini file, then always the correct commander or always the correct name could be used, but that is not the case yet. So, other menus. This was uh, function key 11. Function key 10 is the inventory. Well, this is a new game. You do not have much uh, with you. Commander Chris, present system Lava. Condition, docked, uh, cache, legal status, and then you can scroll these things. Uh, equipment, one uh, uh, pulse laser. Then, this is uh, the, the market. You can scroll through all these market things. Joystick, left and right. You can, uh, you can buy things if they are present and you have got enough money. Slaves, I cannot buy slaves. Food, let's buy food. So, now I've... 60 tons of food and let, let's buy some textiles. So I bought them. Uh, as you can see, this is the inventory again. I've got now some food and some textiles. This is a short range scanner. This is a function key six. Uh, 
I have not been able to display that always in 50 hertz, so this is flickering a little bit. Can't be helped. Um, this is an um, automatic centering uh, 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 target cross uh, that you can see here. Uh, now uh, we are set to, to diesel, distance is 3.6 light years away, and we can get some information on diesel somewhere data on diesel this is i think function key number seven distance economy uh, government and so on uh, as you well know from the normal elite these are all the text that is displayed there and there's a galactic map uh, you can probably hear it but if you are sitting in front of the vectors you can also see that i don't know how many heads hertz this is certainly slower than uh, 50 hertz but uh, i have not even tried to optimize this so uh, this is how it is uh, and number four is your current equipment or, or uh, no no this is a equipment screen where you can buy new equipment for your uh, for your ship uh, the other uh, uh, shop you saw before is a usual shop where you can trade stuff and equip ship here you can buy missiles and uh, so on you can't buy missiles because you need at least 30 credits and I've got only 18 left. Uh, fuel, uh, I've got full fuel, so I can't buy that. And all the other uh, stuff I haven't got enough money for, so nothing to be bought here. Pressing F1 launches. Now you are in the, you are, now you are in space. This in front of us is a planet. Uh, button one accelerates, button two decelerates, uh, um, button three what does button three do button three does nothing and button four shoots uh, you can go you can turn around here you see the, the, the space station uh, if I press da, 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 H H for hyper jump then I go to the next system um, you can fly past the station and you can look at the rear with the rear view left right and i hyper jump to the next system and you can see uh, this little circular thingy here. you can't see my uh, uh, finger but uh, anyway this one this is blocked out now <laughs> uh, this is some sort of radar uh, where you can um, find where you need to go if it's bright then and in the middle this is a correct direction if it's uh, it's, it's darker if it's shaded then it's the wrong direction it's the opposite direction these two circular oh, oh, it's not really circular anyway this 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 thing there in front of me is a sun if i go near that i'm going to burn and my cabin temperature temperature is going to rise and uh, i'm dying with the right equipment i think you can harvest energy from that but uh, i haven't got that now so this is our location we have to go to at our right Somewhere there's another ship. I can't see it now. Perhaps it will probably enter the rear view soon. I'm looking back. Uh, there's the top. This is a. Uh, I, this looks like a rock. It's not an uh, opposing ship, but in front there's also something. It's another rock, I think. So, um, if you press J, you can uh, accelerate as long there are, uh, as there are no enemies uh, near you. So you can. Uh, speed up your flight, but mass locked. Something is uh, uh, near us, which seems not to be bad. Otherwise, we would hear some shots. There it is. I think it might be a ship. Can't discern it right now. Um, let's see. Once that one is gone, I should be able to warp again. Come on, mass locked. Somewhere there is some mess which the scanner below does not show. Um, all the controls you see down there, uh, I'm not going to describe them. Uh, uh, in my change log, I describe describe all the positions and what each of these uh, uh, things mean. Uh, there's another ship, but probably it started from the spaceship. In front of us is now the planet. I'm going full speed at the planet and once a space station is in range, a small S should appear at the lower right 
and uh, then the radar will lock onto the space station and I have to find that and then I'm going to dock and I'm going to sell something and then I'm going to quit this video. So, this would be the basic Elite One hyper jump to the system, so to say. Um, but we're not near a station yet. Now, now you see the S and the radar has locked onto the uh, station and if we go upper right, there is the station. I'm going right into uh, to it and I hope I can successfully dock. I have no docking computer. C would be a docking computer. Now, if I would have loaded Malban, then you would have a docking computer and you could see, well, the docking sequence. Or automated docking sequence. Now we, you will hopefully see a manual docking sequence. Where is the entrance? It's below. I should probably go a little bit below. Reduce the speed a little bit. Go slower. Where are we? A little bit more, I think. So, no, that doesn't look too bad, does it? So, going a little bit faster and let's suck it in now we're in there so now we are in diesel can we get some money here where is it there we can sell our textiles uh, I, I think the food is actually <laughs> the, the food is less expensive than we bought it for so this was not a good trip i, I think the textiles are a little bit more but uh, anyway uh, i'm just because uh, the docking sequence is so, so iconic, I'm going to load uh, Elite and do a docking sequence. Now we have to play, uh, press Y. Uh, on my keyboard it's Z. I'm going to load Malban. I'm at Lava and as you can see I've got 100,000 credits. I'm going to start right away. Speed up a little bit and go confuse oh, something went into my <laughs> um, yes so there's a space station I'm going to docking computer now it's auto docking I, I think this is the most iconic thing you can do with the lead I'm always thinking it's going to destroy me but the docking computer always BAM docked okay this is all I wanted to show you uh, the newest AAE version with controls and Elite. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.